Good day, everybody. Happy July 4th. Um, it's 3 3 in the afternoon. How'd that happen? Wow. Happy July 4th. Happy Independence Day. However, you celebrate, I hope you are celebrating and having a good time with family and friends. And I hope you're staying safe. So, I wanted to come on here just for a few minutes and say hey to everybody and see how you're all doing. But also to tell you guys, don't let holidays be a reason to do well yourself. And here's what I mean by that don't. Let the holidays be a reason to, to undo all the hard work you've done. A lot of people will go off the rails and they'll they'll think today's a holiday, everything goes. And they'll have alcohol, they'll have sugar, they'll have wheat, they'll have high carbs, they'll have all that stuff they can, they can just jump right back in the next day. But for 99.9% .9 of the people, that's not possible. You won't jump back in the next day. It will set off cravings in your body. It will set off mental issues that will cause you to eat more. Um, and, you, and it can take you days or weeks or even months to get back on board again. So don't let the holidays be your excuse. If you've already ate or drank some stuff today that you shouldn't have, just stop. Stop right now. Start drinking, start drinking water. Um, an example of that for me, you guys know I just got back at 1 o'clock this morning from a trip to Vegas with the granddaughter who turned 21 and her mother, my daughter. We had a fabulous time. We had a fab We were on the Lazy River every single day for hours a day. My granddaughter got a terrible burn, even though I did warn her several times. And she says, from now, she'll listen to me. Whatever. Uh -huh. Anyway, so she got a really bad burn, which kind of curtailed our activities quite a bit. So because we were sticking around the resort more, we ended up cooking a lot of our meals in our rooms and stuff. And that, that made it perfect. It was a perfect way to do it. But I kind of purposely tried a few things that I don't normally consume at home because they were things that were available to us. They were things that were easy to grab to eat down by the pool and stuff like that. And I gained two pounds. Last time I was there, you guys remember on my birthday, I lost four pounds. This time I gained two pounds. So that just goes to show to me, and it, and it could, could just be salt and water gain for me because like today I'm chugging my water and uh, just, if I do eat it, it'll be really light, it'll be vegetables later, but I'm not even feeling hungry, so I probably won't even eat later. We'll see what happens. And we're not doing anything for the 4th this year. This year we're staying home. we got things to do around the house. we got some projects that we've already started that we're trying to finish off. And I'm getting everything ready for boot camp number two. So because of that, we're just not doing nothing. So it's going to be easy for me not to make a big barbecue meal, not to make a bunch of food, not to make a bunch of sweets, not to, not to do any of that because we don't have company coming or anything. So, you know, that's how we're doing this all, the thing. But if I was still going out or myself throwing a holiday function at home, I know how to do that now. Um, did you guys see the picture I posted of the big green salad with the strawberries and blueberries, macadamia nuts, and you use a vinaigrette dressing, which could be any kind of, it could be raspberry vinaigrette, lemon vinaigrette, it could be poppy seed vinaigrette, it could be any kind of thing like that you want. And it makes a killer side dish. Um, I know how to make low to no carb, and I say no carb, but when I'm talking about things that have a lot of celery and stuff like that, that's a no carb. When, I, when I'm talking about a radish side salad, that's a no carb. Those things don't even count on my radar, okay? If I'm having a radish salad that's basically radish, green onions, onion flakes, a little bit of oil, a little bit of stevia, and a couple other ingredients, trust me, I'm not counting it, okay? Just saying. You don't have to count every single carb that goes into your mouth. When, you're eat, or when you know that you're eating low carb, you know that you're eating low carb and you don't have to sweat that kind of stuff. I have a lot of people that come to me and they'll say, can I have this? This has, this has two carbs. Well, if you can have the amount that's worth, that's only two carbs, it's nothing to worry about. The only time that, that can catch you up, let's say my, there's something that my husband likes, is two carb for a tablespoon. And he doesn't get that picture in his mind. He can eat a half a cup and think that he just had two carbs. I'll say, no, that was two times eight tablespoons for a half cup. That means you just had 16 carbs in that little half cup or whatever this stuff is, right? And then he's like, oh. So... Just be, just be aware of your counts, but don't be counting like crazy all the time. And like I said, don't count every little, there's certain vegetables like celery I don't count, radishes I don't count, there's certain vegetables like lettuce I don't count. There's just certain things that you don't have to count your greens, by the way. So that, that really relieves a lot of stress. I count my carbs from things like in my fake cheeses. Some fake cheeses, um, I say fake cheeses, some non-dairy cheeses have up to five carbs per serving, which is usually one ounce. So because of that, I do watch those and I try to get like BioLife feta cheese only has three carbs per one ounce and it's actually a lot if you take it out and weigh it and measure it, it's a lot of cheese. So that's my go-to because I really like that, that I can have so much of it for less carbs. But my husband likes the sliced cheeses and I think they're four carbs per slice. So, you know, we're all different. The shredded, the shredded on dairy cheeses are normally five carbs per serving. 
So be aware of those things without going crazy about them, if that makes sense. And it is July 4th. You can, ha you can have hamburgers. They, they make keto buns. Have the keto buns. They're fine. We have them all the time. If we want a hamburger with a bun, we have a keto bun. If I really feel like it, I, I can make. There's a ton of recipes on YouTube for non- um, for low carb buns and 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 breads and hot dog buns even I've seen them for hot dog I've seen them for all kinds of stuff and they're easy these are not hard to make items so you can make your own buns you can buy the keto buns very good deal um, I I don't tell anybody they should do the keto buns and keto bread all the time but we're bread eaters in our family and I make us a keto bread all the time so if bread is a big thing to you and it's something that you know you have to learn to fit into your lifestyle so that it can be a part of your life, then by all means, use the ones that are already prepared or learn to make your own by watching the YouTube videos. That's what I've done. Um, and I don't always get it perfect, but I, it's good enough, right? So you can have hampers today. You can have hot dogs today. You can have all those things, you know, preferably vegan, but um, however you're having them. And you don't have to count like crazy. You don't have to go nuts. You can have your chopped onions and stuff. I would skip the sweet pickle relish. That I don't do sugar, so because I'm not doing sugar, I would skip the sweet pickle relish. But you know, I would still have. I'd have sauerkraut on my hot dog if I was having one on my broth. I'd have sauerkraut and onions and um, chopped white onions are the lowest carb. I just know these things. Um, I would have that kind of stuff, you know. I and I definitely would have. Matter of fact, we 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 will have hamburgers today if we decide to eat later. We will have hamburgers, and it will all everything on it will be low carb. Everything about it will be low carb and it will still probably be eight or nine carbs counting the meat and you know what little bit of carbs are in the vegetables and stuff that I don't count anyway. I don't care. You know, I don't care if I go up to 20 or 30 net carbs a day because I lost a hundred something pounds doing this. You know, I've lost a hundred and how much exactly? Let me, let me figure it out. I'll be right back. I did know this number person perfectly, but I've lost a little bit of weight and gained a little bit. And uh, I've lost one, nine. 119 that seems to be um, my weight right now I'm holding my weight good I've been in maintenance since I think February and I'm holding it really well I stay in maintenance I don't you know I've ate potato chips here and there just a few here and there um, every once in a while I wanted that salty greasy goodness you know um, again fitting it into my lifestyle because I'm not gonna not have things that I know that I'm gonna want down the line okay because I, you need to fit in those things you have to figure it out um, we, my daughter and my granddaughter and I were talking this last few days when we were in Vegas and, and I made them wraps, you know, regular wraps with regular tortilla wraps, the whole bit with vegan stuff, but bigger. And then I made mine with my little low carb thing and it was like about that square. I've got a picture of it. I'll have to post it for you guys. And, um, I was laughing because she, my daughter was like, wow. And I said, I said, my theory has been for a long time, small people eat small. If I want to be small, I have to eat small. So once I got that into my brain, once that was a set thing in my brain, that, that small people eat small, and, and is that across the board? No. I know I have this friend that's a skinny little mini thing, right? She can eat. How she get out of eating man, I know. Okay, so no, I'm not saying across the board, every thin person in the world eats a little bit of food. But if you look at people, if you if you look at the people you know that are small or watch the people that you know that are small, how they eat, they eat small compared to people who are quite obese, quite over large. I consumed massive food. My husband consumed massive food. My our inner family that's larger people consume massive amounts of food. When we eat, we eat a lot and we also ate frequently. Okay? Those two things alone cause you to be larger. Okay, so when you decide you're really going to change your life and your lifestyle, a couple of things that have to change is that eating massive amounts of food and eating frequently because <laughs> you cannot continue those two habits and ever be an average size or smaller person. That's not going to happen. So, yeah, something to think about, right? So this is July 4th, your Independence Day. And what are you trying to gain independence and freedom from? From being trapped inside a larger body that does not serve you well. It just doesn't. So I've got a few things here today because I've been going through paperwork in my um, office and cleaning things out and getting organized. And it was really funny because I found some things that I wrote a long time ago. And I, I had this thing, who am I? What are my characteristics? What, what words describe me? And it was funny because I, I had things, and this is back in my way too heavy days, you know, consistent, organized, um, visionary, positive, artistic, motivated, loyal. And I'm thinking... And this is what do I really want to accomplish, right? It has a big long list of stuff. 
And I'm thinking, if I really felt like I was all those things and feel like I'm all those things, why have I not been able to get a handle on this food thing until I was 61 years old? Or six, Okay, I started at 59, so 59 years. Why was I able to do anything about that until now? And I, I don't think that it was all my fault anymore. I used to think that it was a lack of self-control, lack, lack of that just, you know, pull your, pull your bootstraps out and go for it, right? But I don't. I really think it was a combination of the foods and the chemicals that are in the foods and the combination of the chemicals and what they do to our brain chemistry and what they do to our body functions and chemistry. And when you do... When you do this style of eating, especially if you do the harder style, which is the boot camp style, when you do that kind of stuff, you clean your system out so well, well and you get it you get it all running like a well-oiled machine. You know, and it's happy like that. It's so happy like that. And you feel better and you have more energy and the weight just kind of peels off and just kind of melts away like magic. And I know I say that a lot, but that's how I feel about it. Like it's magic, right? So it's Independence Day, it's July 4th. Like I said, I hope you're having a wonderful time with family and friends, but try to feel your body. Try to eat the things you want without going overboard. Don't go crazy. If you decide you're gonna have a cookie, you're gonna have a cookie or two. You know, have the cookie or two, but get right back on and do what you're supposed to. Balance it out. Eat something really good for you versus something that's not as good. Then after that, eat something good for you again. Go back and forth if you have to, figure it out. You know, and don't be grazing all day. We all know grazing's not a good thing. We don't like the grazing thing, right? All right, guys. Have a blessed holiday, and I will be talking to you guys soon.